Police seek public's help identifying suspects in string of fraudulent purchases. Tokerville Falls rollover reported by robotic emergency feature. And teens at Springdale Subway find purse full of cash. You're watching St. George News at 5. Good afternoon, I'm Amy Bennett. The Washington City Police Department is seeking information that can help identify two individuals. The suspects are involved in a string of suspicious recent incidents that may have impacted multiple small businesses. Both suspects are wanted after it was reported that the pair made several purchases totaling roughly $750 using a stolen credit card. The telematic device on a Jeep near the Tokerville Falls alerted authorities to a rollover on Tuesday afternoon. It was reported that the alarm automatically alerted authorities and pinged a GPS location along with the owner's contact information. The driver of the vehicle was found to be well enough to deny medical attention and drove off shortly after the vehicle flipped over. On Monday evening, three teenagers working at the Subway Sandwich Shop in Springdale discovered a purse left behind with an estimated $15,000. One of the three teens, Paul Dick, said that they were looking for a driver's license to contact the owner, but couldn't find one. After the workers turned the purse over to the local fire department, Springdale police were able to locate the owner of the purse. A well-known online travel guide rates Utah's mighty five national parks as crowded and expensive, yet compliments the parks on their economic impacts on neighboring communities. For more on this story, here's Stephanie DeGraw. Travel Lemming, a popular online travel guide, has rated Utah's mighty five national parks as crowded and expensive yet it complements the parks on their economic impacts on neighboring communities. Zion National Park made it into the top 20 at slot 18. The guide lists Canyonlands, Bryce Canyon, Arches, and Capitol Reef lower due to their crowding and affordability. The guide analyzed data to rank all 63 U.S. national parks. Thanks, Stephanie. A new women's specialty store just opened in the city and it's supportive in more ways than one. Here's Jesse Bang with the story. A brand new store for women just opened its doors. Lace by Louise was first started by Louise Stuckey 27 years ago in northern Utah. She said people have been traveling from St. George to her Riverton location for years, and it was time she brought proper bra sizing and choices to southern Utah. Lace by Louise is a store that does fittings for women, and we're different because we actually do the measuring, and then we come out and get the product and take it into the dressing room because for a woman to go through the whole store and try to find what she's looking for is pretty discouraging. So when we talk to her in the dressing room about what she wants, then we will come out and get it and take it into her so that she can try it on. Once she has it on, we go back in and adjust the band sizes. We adjust the straps to make sure it's a good fit. And then we tell her, show her why it's a good fit. The seed for the store's concept was planted when her grandmother was diagnosed with breast cancer. This pivotal moment ignited her passion to empower women to feel confident and their best selves. Join the grand opening celebration and ribbon cutting on Friday, April 26th. Thank you for watching St. George News at 5. I'm Amy Bennett with St. George News, your number one source for local news. This has been St. George News at 5.